The XVX K75 Pro is an exceptionally affordable 75 key or 70% tri-mode mechanical keyboard. Featuring a CNC machined all aluminium alloy chassis, its leaf spring gasket structure and five layered sound and shock absorbing internal design provide a comforting and satisfying typing experience. Additionally, the keyboard boosts vibrant RGB lighting with a full 16.8 million color backlight and smart LED display. So I've got the specs up here on my screen and you can get four different colorways. I believe two of them are actually out of stock or on pre-order. So the first one, if I say this one wrong, it is the Yukio E with all the waves and all that good stuff. Then you can get powder blue, which is the one that I've got. You can get mauve and then grige or grage. I don't, gri, gri, grige, grige? I don't, I don't know what that one is, um, but it's like gray and orange and that sort of colorway. So let's go over some of the specifications of this board. So again, the model is the XVX K75 Pro. So for the total key count, it's 75 keys, hence the K75. For the original keycaps that you're gonna get are the Cherry Profile PBT. The case is full aluminum with its flex cut PCB and positioning plate. So you get three connection types on this as well, which is wired, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and then Bluetooth connection. The switches that are used in this board are the XVX medium purple switches, the stabilizer are specially adjusted satellite stabilizers. The mounting style is leaf spring gaskets. This also takes USB-C and it's for Windows and Mac. The weight of this is coming in at 1300 grams. That's with the whole keyboard put together. And this is retailing at 89.99 USD. So XVX were nice enough to send me over a brief of really breaking down everything that they've got inside this board. So we've got the switches, we've got the case, we've got all that good stuff. So let's go through some of those and then we can go onto the build quality and see the performance of this board. So for the medium purple switches, the feel is linear. So they're not so tactile. They don't have that massive click, although they do sound tactile. It's weird, I can't explain it. Uh, it says that they're quiet, but I mean, without pressure, you can still hear it, but then it's still got the tactile sound, which I kind of like it. I'm a huge lover of the, the clicky mechanical keyboard. So, you know, when it said linear, I was sort of like, well, it sounds good to me. I like it. It's got a nice, it's a, it's a nice enough sound where it's not too much in your like Cherry MX switches. The accuation force is 48. It says 48 plus 5 GF, so whatever you make of that, but I say 48. Pre-travel is two millimeters, and then total travel is 3.4 millimeters. The minimum trigger force is 40 G minimum. And the best bit about this is the durability of these switches is coming in at 50 million clicks each. So you can click that baby 50 million times I believe they're pre-lubed as well. They're already ready to get to work, but 50 million plus each switch is insane. Now let's move over to the body. The keyboard has got a solid build, a premium in-hand feel. The keyboard features high quality 6, 1063 series aluminium alloy chassis made by using high precision CNC machining process. But anything using machine processing to cut through metal is always gonna be so precise. So you, you know you're gonna get a really good board for the price. Then because of the way that the gaskets are structured, you're gonna be getting a nice soft touch and feel. So the PC positioning plate is mounted between the top and the bottom covers using gasket poron mounts instead of fixed screws. This setup provides a soft key press feel, making typing on the keyboard exceptionally comfortable and delicate, which I have actually noticed as you can see in this footage when I'm pushing the keyboard in and out, you can see it's got this nice spring to it, which is very nice compared to the very solid state that most keyboards come in. And the way that this is laid out is five layered sound shock absorbing design. So this keyboard includes the sandwich of Pyron foam, anti-static IXPE undershaft pad, PET silicon, padding, Poron shaft seat cushions, padding, and then the bottom silicon padding. So that's all of them laid out there. And then because of this five layered internal arrangement, efficiently fills the empty spaces within the keyboard, promising a comfortable typing experience. So that's where you don't get that hollowness within the board because it's so packed. And then you've obviously got on the side here, the LED display, which is incredible by the way. So it says obviously to take control of visual experience with customizing settings, connectivity, system options, RGB backlighting, volume and more. But what truly sets it apart is the captivating animation feature which you can unleash your creativity and actually personalize your display with a mesmerizing array of animations that reflect your unique style 
and elevate your visual journey with this K75 Pro. So you can actually put any GIF on there that you really want to. You have to do it through their software, but I haven't done that yet. But the quality of the little screen is actually exceptional because of it being so small, the pixel density is just far greater and looks so much more crispier. So whatever GIF you put on there, it's gonna look creme de, de creme. And then obviously, as we mentioned before, we've got the tri-mode connectivity with the keyboard supporting high-speed wireless 2.4 gigahertz, wireless Bluetooth, and then the wired USB connection with the detachable Type-C cable. And it also does support different devices such as Windows and Mac. Now, because it does have all these different connectivity modes, what's the battery capacity? So let's get into that. So the keyboard comes with a four, thousand milliamp lithium polymer battery offering an extended wireless working time and then a little back strip there as well that covers the battery is made out of anodized aluminium alloy which is convenient for DIY battery expansion or actually replacing the battery I noticed before that I said with the keycaps they are the the cherry profile PBT shine through but that's only with the design when it comes to the standard one they are just shine through on the top and they are self-facing RGB as well so if you do get different keycaps with the marble ones that I've got they have the shine through on the side. And because the self-facing RGB is at the bottom, it looks absolutely fire. So that's everything I've got to go through when it comes to the briefing and just to explain a bit more in detail of what this board is. Now, when I first got my hands on this, the weight of it is incredible. I mean, you can tell that's packed because it's just a heavy board. So you're not gonna be, you know, lugging this around wherever you wanna go. This is gonna be a stay at home or stay in the office sort of jobby uh, because it is such a hefty board. The back of it, obviously where the batteries are, a lot more heavier than when the front is, but it's just got that good weight to it that makes it feel premium, yet it is budget friendly. So on the back here, you can see you've got the Windows and the Mac little switch there, and then your USB-C in the middle, and then your on and off button. They are very nicely located in the middle. Some of them have them on the left, some of them have them on the right. This one is in the middle. But I mean, build quality for me, absolutely fantastic. Typing on this thing is an experience that I'm happy with because of, again, that sponginess and the nice little clicks in there. Not too over the top and just subtle enough for me to hear it and enjoy it, let me tell you now. So all the links for this keyboard will be linked down below in the description. If you have any questions about this board, let me know in the comments so I can jump on there and give you some feedback. But for me personally, the price, absolutely worth it. And the look, the overall style, the feel of it just is perfect. Now I would take it apart, but I don't want to, you know, break any components with this because there is so much inside. I'm scared that I'd end up just damaging it. So I'm not gonna take it apart. There might be videos on YouTube that vote like someone else has done it. But for me, this board, is one of my top five. But anyway, that is pretty much everything that I can cover. I've gone through the basics. I've gone through everything personally that I can describe myself without you know, getting too technical. But that is everything that I can go through. But before I leave you, I will do a sound test at the end. But anyway, remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next one.